My name is Robert Ambrose. We're in Talkeetna, Alaska. I've lived here since 93. Um, I came here with my life partner, Jessica Stevens, and um, we had a young son at that time. And uh, after moving here, we had another one. And so when you have kids, you grow roots in a community. And we um, work together to develop a community health center here. My wife died in a car accident two, sum two summers ago, and she was an incredible person. You should be interviewing her. She was um, an amazing person who basically gave everything um, for the community. She died on the way back from work. Um, and there, at the same time, there was a, there was a foundation called Rasmussen Foundation in Alaska, which is, uh, old Alaskan money, bank money. Um, but this foundation has been incredibly progressive, I guess is the word I'd use in terms of fund, finding, funding, um, solutions to problems around the state. And they sent me a note, you know, after my wife died and saying that they had dedicated some money to, as seed money, to help with the development of a community foundation. And uh, Jess and I and a couple of friends in town for, for a long time had been talking about the need for some kind of community-wide foundation that would uh, coordinate efforts to get resources to come into the community rather than having individual nonprofits um, working, you know, in competition really to try and get resources to do what they do. The seed money started me thinking about it um, some more um, of the need to really put time into doing this thing that we had talked about for a long time and to do it uh, from my perspective partly to uh, concretize the legacy of Jess's contribution to the com community. Because we called it the Jessica Stevens Community Foundation. Um, partly because when we named, named it that way, and I wasn't responsible for that name, but the other people on the board insisted. Um, because when you say that name around here, you know what the mission of the foundation is. It's, and our mission really is to, to raise, uh, build an endowment um, where the resources generated from that can be used to solve um, problems in the community and really build healthy communities. That's our goal. Our publications had information about her and she'll probably, and we haven't developed a website yet, but there will be some connection to her, to her contribution, I guess, to the community. I always present in the foundation. And we hope that uh, just having the name attached to the grants that we're able to give out um, and where we direct the grants, that there, that connection will just be made. So, um, our first grant was uh, because, as part of this initiative to make community uh, small community foundations, there was some pass-through grant money that we received, five thousand dollars, I think, and uh, there were, there was a big community effort to build a playground here because there wasn't one for uh, kids to play in. So we, and they sold components, you know, you could buy com a component for X amount of money. So we gave them the whole 5000 rather than, we decided for our first grant we'd like to, instead of splitting up to ten five hundred dollars grants to nonprofits around here, just put it in one place that at the moment had the most community effort behind it or commitment behind it and as a result there's a you know a component that has the name of the foundation in the playground so that'll always be there 
The borough, this borough goes from way north of here to down to Palmer and Wasilla, are places that you drove through on the way from Anchorage, 70 miles away. And that's really where all the population is. And for me, it was quite ironic to, to have this project because, because forever, living up here, we've struggled to get resources from the lower borough area to come up here and serve these populations. And they um, mostly have been reluctant or unable to do that. So for us to have the resources and be able to distribute to the more endowed areas of the borough was a, uh, it was a, a good irony. It was uh, one of the things I enjoyed about it. Community's been, been unbelievable. I mean, she was a really well-loved person, so um, there was an incredible memorial for her in town, um, which I can barely remember. Um, but the community's been incredibly supportive and, um, yeah, all around. It's all connected and my board is really understanding and my friends in the community have been really helpful. And it's just a great community, you know, diverse, but people pull for each other here. It's, it's really pretty simple. I mean, you do things, I mean, we do things because we want to make a, things better for people in our communities.